Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature here on the channel, Cheaters Camp style. After hours here at El Pollo Loco because holiday tamale bowls are now back on the menu. And since El Pollo Loco wants us to unwrap a new tradition, we're definitely gonna do that by going in on one of them. So let's do just that. Feast your eyes on their loaded chicken queso tamale bowl. A definite mouthful of a title, but then again, we've got a mouthful of goodness here, guys. There's a large portion in front of us here right now. Starting off on the left side, there's the obvious, the chicken tamale. We've got it topped off with a very decent amount of queso blanco. Very nice there. Swinging around the side, we've got a nice portion of chopped fire grilled chicken. Looks like a pretty decent amount of white meat. As we go further on around, we've got a nice portion of pico de gallo and of course some of their handmade guacamole. Definitely looking pretty nice for color. And that's all sitting on top of a bed of rice and beans. So guys, pretty substantial. And for $6.99, this is not a bad deal. So let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's get into it. It's the loaded chicken queso tamale bowl here at El Pollo Loco. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, man, I'm not gonna front right now. There's some serious heftiness going on on my left hand right now, guys. This is looking pretty nice. And again, let me show that to you up close. Take a look at that. It is absolutely filled to the rim with the good stuff there. The thickness on this is pretty crazy. Very deep in this dish. And I gotta say, presentation-wise, this is looking pretty good. That queso blanco is looking pretty amazing here. So guys, I'm not gonna waste any time with this here. I'm just gonna cut right on into it. This is looking nice. Thick masa on this tamale, guys. I'm actually having a lot of trouble cutting this right now. I'm gonna go for a nice chunk here. Let me bring this up. This is a chicken tamale, so no shredded pork on this one. But as you can see, not bad even at the end here as it's flopping over. But that queso blanco is looking pretty lovely right there, guys. Pretty nice. Let's give this a shot. The chicken tamales here at El Pollo Loco, they specialize in chicken, so this can't be bad, right? Let's hope not. Let's do it. Mmm. It's not bad. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I may have spoken a little too soon because it's a little on the salty side. I mean, not a little. I'm really getting a lot of elevated salt, but the creaminess of the cheese is absolutely awesome. And guys, the queso is a lovely situation here. Let me pick up some of this and we'll go with a little bit of the beans actions right over there just to kind of see what that enhances there. I want to see if that saltiness is coming from the tamale or if it's the cheese. Let me give it a shot. It's the cheese. Yeah, way more salt in the queso. It's flavorful, don't get me wrong, because salt equals flavor, but the creaminess of the cheese is a little drowned out because of that, but man, the saltiness is really strong. Again, the nice tamale goodness right over here, that masa on the outside, lovely situation. Let's keep going in, it's not bad. Mmm, that's really tasty. And admittedly, El Pollo Loco is. The reviews I've done in the past showcase a lot of that. As it should, because guys, El Pollo Loco, of course, specializes in chicken, AKA the crazy chicken here, El Pollo Loco, that's what it is. So let me get into a little bit of this chicken action over here. I've got it dipped into a little bit of the guacamole. The fire grilled goodness right there, definitely a lovely situation. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, you can tell that was made fresh. That's not from a canister. It's got that whip feel, a little light chunkiness to it. Very nice. And let's go for a little bit of the cheese and the rice here having a little bit of fun with this here. We'll go for a little bit of everything on this one, minus the tamale, because I'm not gonna be able to fit all of that on the fork with, but guys, again, look at this bowl. It is loaded with the good stuff here. So you have all the sides right there as well, some chicken in there as well, the beans, the rice, the queso blanco, lovely situation, minus the pico. You know how I feel about that. Let's keep going in. Mmm, yeah, lovely situation. All right, let me go for another piece of the tamale here. I'm gonna give you a cross-section shot actually here. Mm. The denseness of everything I just took in that last bite right now, very super flavorful on this, very super flavorful. All right, let me swing this around. And there is a nice cross-section on the inside. Try and fit it and not block it with the lighting, but as you can see, it's like a pureed type of chicken with seasoning and spices here, guys. Very lovely situation there. And again, the thickness of the masa on the outside Nice compliment. It's almost like an even mix. Not too bad. I probably want to say maybe 60% meat and then 40% coating on the outside of the tamale itself, but you can really taste the quality of it. And that's really the cool thing. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Yeah. It's better without the queso, so much of it anyway up front, because the saltiness is high on it for some reason. But I like it. It's just elevated. That's really the only thing. So a couple of more bites here, but guys, I'm enjoying this bowl. This is really, really good. Some rice, some beans, a little bit of everything there. I'm trying to give you as many close-ups of the quality of this as I can. And as you can see, no shortage of the goodness on the inside here. This is really done pretty well. Mmm, yeah. 
And again, I can't get over the heftiness of everything on the inside of this. It really feels substantial in my hand here right now. And there's a really decent amount. And you know what? I'm really kind of glad there's only one tamale with this with all the extra chicken. They do have versions of this on the menu that you're probably seeing up on your screen here right now. There's different variations and combinations, I should say, of it. But naturally, a little bit of everything on this loaded queso bowl I think is the way to go because not only do you get the chicken tamale, you get some of their chopped chicken on the side, which they're known for. They put that in pretty much everything here. In fact, just about everything here, it's El Pollo Loco. But of course, the fresh guac, you have the pico, the beans, the rice, just a nice combination. So let me give another shot of this up close. I'm gonna lift up the tamale and give it a shot. Let me try and lift it sideways. There you go there. But as you can see, quality made. And I do have to say, compared to what I reviewed recently from Del Taco, this actually is filled out a lot more from end to end with the chicken goodness naturally there. It's not shredded pork, but I really dig the quality of what this is. And like I said, guys, what you're getting here in the bowl is pretty substantial for $6.99. And that lovely situation for tamales, a holiday tradition just about everywhere that I know of anyway. A lot of restaurants come out with this. This is a beautiful situation, an easy recommendation to try. They do it pretty well over here at El Pollo Loco. Share the tradition and share the love with new holiday tamale bowls from El Pollo Loco. Yeah, definitely a pretty substantial amount of food on the inside of that bowl. And personally for me, I don't think I would even call it a bowl. That's like a full on platter of goodness, guys. There's no shortage of the beans and the rice. That goodness is gonna fill you up. But the thickness of the tamale is on point and the quality of it is solid. That pureed chicken on the inside with the spicing is very well done. There's a decent amount of meat as well. And then naturally the chopped chicken off to the side as well as that. And when you add the pico and especially the guac for color, I gotta admit that really stands out beautifully on that. It's just a nice combination. The only deterrent, believe it or not, is the queso itself because it is elevated in salt. At least the version that I'm having right now really stands out. And that's what kind of kills it slightly. But thankfully the flavor of everything else does hold its own once you get past that. So an easy recommendation to give this one a shot strictly because of the tamales alone, they are worth your time. But like I said, the queso, you may want to ask to have that put on the side to kind of see what you think of it. So if it is a little elevated in salt, you can kind of just add a little bit at a time if you really want to do that. But guys, still very tasty for what this is. And I'm glad to have given this one a shot right now. So overall, I'm gonna to have to give the loaded chicken queso tamale bowl, a super mouthful of a title, a pretty decent 7.8 out of 10. Like I said, it loses a couple of points because of the saltiness of the queso blanco itself, but everything else absolutely shines in quality. And like I said, everything you're gonna get in that is pretty substantial. The bowl itself is a platter. I really wouldn't call that a bowl. It seriously is a really, really solid amount of food. So easy recommendation, like I said, give this one a go if you've got El Pollo Loco in the area. All right, so now the obvious question, because you know it's coming, right? If you've got a El Pollo Loco in the area, are you gonna be giving this one a shot? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this one a go. And actually, how important are tamales to you during the holiday season there? Is it something that you really look forward to? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, this is definitely a tradition I can see myself unwrapping a few times throughout the holiday season over here at El Pollo Loco. It's pretty tasty. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.